Logic Rolls the Dice continually brings up a subject that I'm fascinated in, or a concept, which is a desire mechanism, or a motivation mechanism, or something like this. Um, <clears throat> now that's an interesting way to phrase it. I understand the idea of desire and the will. Okay, I get that. Uh, and in as much as I subscribe to anything, I think I subscribe to the idea of a will. Uh, what the will's nature is, that's entirely uh, up for grabs as a as a as a idea. What what does the will want? What what is its nature, the nature of the will. <clears throat> because I generally start from the old cogito ergo sum, so I exist, I am, um, but there's more to it. I also have experiences. Uh, something is experiencing things. It's experiencing its experiences. It doesn't mean that what is going on around me is somehow real, but the experiences of what are of what I perceive to be going on around me seem to be fairly unarguable. Nobody can tell me that I'm not having certain experiences. If I drop acid and experience being chased up the street by a double-headed cactus demon, uh, I think it's fair to say that um, that didn't happen. But my experience of that happening did happen. So <clears throat> I sort of subscribe to experience. Um, and also desire, the will. Um, I exist, I experience things, and I want something. Or I just want the will. I have desire. Now where does that desire come from? Does the desire have a purpose? Does the will intend something, or does the will just want? <clears throat> um, when I hear terms like desire mechanism or motivation mechanism or whatever, I tend to think of some sort of intent behind it all, as though something has created this in order to achieve a certain result. A lot of people seem to think that evolution works that way. I can see evolution on an on a individual organism's uh, sort of point of view, from an individual organism's point of view, being proactive. In other words, um, I want to, the will might act on evolution in an, in, in an individual organism's way, because it, uh, rather individual organism's experiences or individual organism's existence. Um, because as long as you're alive, you want. As long as you exist, you want. It does seem to be that way. <clears throat> I, I'm not making a strong case for this, I'm just looking at what I see around me and going along with my own cogitations on this. The will has me somewhat convinced. But a will that is purposely engineered by something? No, I, I can't believe that. People who believe that we are, evo that we are evolving towards something for a reason, or, or that evolution is happening for a reason, that I cannot get, wrap my head around. That sounds like Christianity to me. Um, <clears throat> I get the impression from Logic Rolls the Dice that when you, know, when you use terms like mechanism, you sort of think that evolution is going somewhere, that evolution has a plan, that evolution intends to create a result. You know, the classic case of, you know, say, the sex drive. Um, we are sort of injected with this sex drive by natural selection or whatever in order to keep the... Uh, species alive because the will to life is the strongest thing there is in the universe. But I, I, I'm not trying to put words in Logic Rolls the Dice's mouth here. He never said anything about will to live, and I'll let him make his own arguments. Um, just suffice it to say that I'm trying to wrap my head around what he has to say, and I might be mischaracterizing what he's saying, but feel free to correct me on this. Um, <clears throat> A lot of people, in fact, almost everybody that I ever speak to about evolution and natural selection seems to think that there's a reason for it. There's a reason for evolution to happen, that there's a goal, that, that it's somehow teleological, that something is sought, that, that we're sort of puppets of natural selection and evolution, that there is an actual um, impetus behind natural selection, evolution, that kind of thing. That's not the same thing as proactive evolution on the, on the level of 
an individual organism that has its will and its own will is acting upon its its little tiny tiny infinitesimally small piece of the evolutionary thing the evolutionary whole it wants the organism wants um, but I see absolutely no evidence whatsoever apart from I hate to say this faith that evolution is happening because there is a desired result what I would ask is if everything devolves to a motivation mechanism what motivates the motivation mechanism if you want to say everything evolves to a motivation mechanism that's nice but you can't then just sort of say that the motivation mechanism just exists and that's that I would say that there's you, you'd have to you'd have to justify that that statement um, that there's an, an intent behind our motives that we're being led around by desire as opposed to desire simply being inherent in existence or in consciousness itself are our desires purposeful or are they just there um, my answer generally is I don't know um, but I can see <clears throat> given a choice between my desires are actually something that's deliberately luring me around like a uh, carrot on a stick type thing um, you know the donkey with the carrot dangling on a stick in front of his face to get him to move that I, I see absolutely no evidence for whatsoever apart from religion and faith um, I think that, the, that to the best of my knowledge I don't know why the will exists if it exists at all it does seem to exist but I don't know why it would exist um, and if it has a why to it at all um, I, I can't see it actually um, I, I don't I don't see anything up there that's going to or anything inherent in, in the universe that sort of says I'm putting this stick in front of you for a reason that a desire mechanism exists to achieve a certain result because if everything devolves to a desire mechanism that applies to the desire mechanism itself what does it want um, I may be completely, as I say, off track here, but I'd just like to wrap my head around that. Um, um, Christian DeAngelis said, a lot of people throw around the idea of unintelligent design, but it looks pretty darned intelligent, or at least, I wouldn't say intelligent, but conscious, if you ask me, uh, that it actually intends something. That uh, my old, my favorite quote from Seneca, the one that says, um, while we Romans believe that um, lightning is caused by the collision of clouds, the Etruscans, their neighbors, believe that clouds collide in order to create lightning. I tend to go along with the Roman view of this, um, at least on the macro level. Um, things just happen, the universe just is. Um, and I think that desire mechanism, that seems to indicate that, you know, a, a subscription to the idea, the Etruscan idea, that clouds collide in order to create lightning. 